Major, I know you have a degree in economics. I, that yes, that I know. And we're, we're, yeah. right now we know that we, we, our economy is in a problem, is in dire straits. As somebody who studied economics in school and who has also had the opportunity to practice a bit. In the financial sector. When, when you, <laughs> some people have said, oh, our country doesn't follow economic rules. <laughs> but you can just speak to that. When you look at where we are and the fact that everybody's crying about hardship, what should government be doing from your knowledge and also the practicality of your experience? Now, let me, let, let, let me come to I could remember the last time we had it. I've always told uh, people that the fundamentals have not been addressed. We are just addressing, you know, something at the top. Our issue is not finance. Mm. Our issue boils down to what is the fair value of our Naira. The World Bank, the IMF, the Central Bank, everybody knows that our Naira is undervalued. We all know that. But we are using the palliatives or we are using instrument of overvaluation to arrest the situation. Take purchasing power parity. What a dollar can buy in America when, when you take uh, food, you know, that dollar, when you translate it into an exchange rate today, you can have more. So our Naira is undervalued. So first of all, let us go to the fundamentals. And then what are those fundamentals? The fundamentals is that we are running, you know, a, 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 a economic situation on the basis of financial, you know, uh, 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 financial uh, parameters. Mm. 